The world's appetite for energy is growing relentlessly. Europe relies heavily on natural gas from the North Sea, but those stocks are rapidly declining. In the US, shale gas has transformed the economy. While Europe's gas production is crumbling, America's is booming. Leading global chemicals producer INEOS has a bold plan. Ship US gas to Europe. It's quite an exciting project for Europe because you're bringing those competitive advantages that they pursued in America and we're bringing those across to Europe. INEOS has secured 15-year contracts for the purchase, distribution and shipping of ethane from America to Europe. It is pioneering, nobody's done it so far. It should underpin European economics in chemicals for, for a long time to come. In a world first, INEOS has commissioned six liquid ethane gas carrier ships to transport gas from America to Europe. For such a mammoth engineering and logistical challenge, INEOS has partnered with Evergas, a world leader in gas transportation. We talked to many players in the market, but from Evergas we actually found someone who's very interested in partnering with us, not just in providing ships that already exist, but in designing ships with optimum size and capacity and efficiency to meet the requirements. We've been working with INEOS for uh, more than a decade. Over that period, operating contracts, delivering on promises and expectations, that's where you build the relations that takes you to the next level. INEOS and Evergas are visiting HSBA, the company undertaking the design challenge. Today, they've kindly invited us to see a scale model of our ship, the Dragon series, which has been very exciting. These vessels have never been designed before. They haven't crossed the North Atlantic before. So there's been lots of challenges in boat design, and hence, here, you know, we're here today at the testing facility in Germany to check that they don't sink. <laughs> we're building the ships with double engines, which means that we are certain that the ships will operate no matter what. With their state-of-the-art facilities in Hamburg, HSVA can test scale models of the ships in ultra-realistic environments. We've been working with tank optimization teams in China as well as in Germany to derive at a perfect hull shape to improve the efficiency of the ships. It's very challenging designing the hull of a vessel. There are so many variables that you have to take into account when you design. These ships are state of the art in terms of uh, the equipment we install on them. The size of the ships is larger than anything built so far. And the fact that we are uh, implementing dual fuel propulsion for uh, clean propulsion is groundbreaking. This design has not been seen before. They're a very impressive group of people. They've been very innovative, they've been very thoughtful about the design of these ships and how to move forward. So we've been absolutely delighted. Attention will now switch to the Far East, where the ships are to be built. Whilst the ships are under construction, INEOS are already building new facilities in the US and Europe in order to export and accommodate this ethane. With the future of an industry weighing on its shoulders, INEOS investment and innovation is set to sustain Europe's chemical industry. INEOS are making the first steps in this development, and it's a bold step. I think INEOS and that process have a very strong position for the future. This venture in bringing ethane from the States into Europe will actually bring those American economics to our crackers in Europe and give us a stable and secure future for all of our employees and for INEOS. It should underpin European economics in chemicals for, for a long time to come.